What if I told you there's a giant turtle cruising the ocean, but instead of a shell, it's a whole city? It's a city that has the capacity to carry over 60,000 passengers all at the same time. Buckle up, because in this video, we're diving into the Pangeos Terra Yacht, a mind-blowing $8 billion project in Saudi Arabia that promises to change the game of luxurious living on the sea. Before we go right into unveiling this magnificent edifice, let's quickly take a look at how it all began. Designed by the Italian firm Lazzarini Design Studio, the Pangea gets its inspiration from the supercontinent Pangea, which existed millions of years ago during the early Mesozoic and late Paleozoic periods. Lazzarini is a renowned company that is known for creating some of the most audacious and fantastic marine designs. Some of its designs range from flying boats to huge onboard parking spaces and futuristic ships that tend to transcend the human imagination. And now, this outstanding firm is set to create one of the world's biggest sea structures, the Pangeos. As its name implies, the Pangeo is designed to have the form of a majestic sea turtle floating on water. And of course, it's more than just a concept. It is meant to be like a real city, having a dock and central plaza as well as other buildings in it. This magnificent design will also have a sleek and curved main hull with four protruding sections at the front that resemble a turtle's powerful legs. Its unique design offers both aesthetic appeal and some functional benefits, like improved wave handling. However, before construction begins for this project, a lot of work has to be done in preparation. First, a circular dam would need to be built, and about a square kilometer of sea would need to be dredged. Interestingly, the location for this floating city has already been picked by the designers of this project. That location is the King Abdullah Port, located 81 kilometers from Jeddah, Thanks to a crowdfunding campaign associated with NFT, they anticipate that the plan, which dates back to 2009, will soon be a reality, with construction commencing soon, although there is no official word on the date of commencement. Speaking of engineering ingenuity, this incredible structure will have about 30,000 cells beneath the residential area that will be responsible for keeping the structure afloat. The construction of the basement will be made of steel. Even though the wings of this super yacht will take their energy from the drag and waves crashing against the ship, it will have a huge 30 meters or 98 feet of draft and is able to sail at five knots. Amazingly, this super yacht will have some infrastructure that will power the yacht. Its design isn't just to remain in one spot. The Terra Turtle would sail around, making the voyage the destination instead of having a fixed itinerary. Just right for a scene in a James Bond film, and maybe when the city is complete, we will get to see action movies shot on it. Well, how about we take a quick look at the beautiful features of this $8 billion project? We begin with its magnificent size and scale. Once funded, the Pangeos Terra Yacht will be one of the largest floating structures ever built. Its amazing length stretches to a jaw-dropping 550 meters, which is approximately 1,800 feet, with a width of 610 meters, meaning that it is 2,000 feet at its widest point. Not only that, its volume surpasses 1 million gross tons, making this colossal size yacht a true Terra Yacht. Meanwhile, if you're worried about its accommodation capabilities, when you finally get to board this mighty super yacht, you will find that it's not a deserted ghost town because the Pangeos has the potential to accommodate up to about 60,000 people. Incredible, right? Well, this unique yacht will offer its residents a luxurious living style by providing quarters for them. Not only does it offer a luxurious lifestyle for its residents, but it also offers hotel reservations for tourists who would like to have a view of this magnificent structure. And we expect that thousands, if not millions, will troop in to see the magnificent structure every year. Of course, it won't only accommodate residents and tourists. It's obvious that a large number of crew members will definitely be needed to maintain its vast infrastructure. 
Interestingly, the Pangeos go beyond just luxurious living spaces. It is also designed to incorporate a variety of amenities, like shopping centers, which will create opportunities for different ranges of retail services to be patronized by both residents and visitors. Not only that, there will also be beautiful parks and gardens for those who want to experience nature's view. This will provide green spaces for recreation and relaxation for the residents and visitors while they float on water. Other features of the Terra Yacht include sports facilities like swimming pools, tennis courts, and even an airstrip for smaller ships and aircraft, which will be available to get its guests in and out in style. All these, and many more, amazing features will be a part of this grand floating city. But if you are not the sporty type and wouldn't want to be involved in outside games, there will be entertainment venues like cinemas, theaters, and other entertainment facilities if you need a more quiet space to enjoy indoor entertainment. Now to something really fascinating. The Pangeos will also be built to ensure sustainability and environmental friendliness, as its design will incorporate elements like solar panels on the upper shell. It will also have wave energy capturing technology to generate renewable energy. Additionally, underwater greenhouses will be specially designed to provide a source of fresh produce. But that's not all there is to this incredible super yacht. Quickly, let's look at the possible benefits that this $8 billion project will bring. One of the benefits of this super yacht is that the construction of this kind of vessel challenges the limits of naval architecture. Many engineering hurdles will be overcome, and this will provide valuable knowledge that will be helpful in future construction. Some of the challenges that have to be tackled during construction will include maintaining stability in turbulent seas, creating effective locomotion systems for this yacht, and building the necessary infrastructure that will be used in the operations of this super yacht. Imagine having all that luxury and comfort on the sea. You know, pampering yourself at luxurious spas with rejuvenating treatments, taking fitness activities, having that exquisite meal, or participating in cooking classes, visiting art galleries or museums, and also attending sports events or practices. It sounds like a whole lot of fun, right? That's what the Pangeos will offer its occupants. A luxury megastructure that blends the comforts of a city into just a yacht. Not just that, the Pangeos also offer economic benefits, both during and after construction. The construction and operation of Pangeos could create significant job opportunities in various sectors, from engineering to hospitality. This will definitely impact Saudi Arabia's economy, leading to an increase in the GDP level of the country. Additionally, Pangeos could also potentially become a hub for research and development in various fields, including marine technology and sustainable living. Without a doubt, the Pangeos project is very ambitious, but it still poses a number of practical concerns that will need to be overcome. Undoubtedly, there could be many engineering difficulties that will come up when building a yacht of this size. In order for a floating city of this nature to operate properly, there has to be a high level of stability, engine power, and the necessary infrastructure to be put in place. Additionally, there are serious environmental risks associated with the building and maintenance of this luxury yacht. Some potential problems that need to be tackled might include the use of resources during operations, waste from construction, and its impact on the marine environment and aquatic life. At the moment, there are no rules governing boats that are nearly the size of Pangeos, and it would be difficult to create new international agreements and safety regulations. Also, the $8 billion price tag can be a huge challenge because getting investors to support this untested and possibly dangerous project will prove to be difficult given how many mega projects have turned out to be economic failures in recent years. But if constructed, what do we believe the future holds for this gigantic edifice? Well, the yachting sector is always changing and there isn't yet a clear market need for boats like Pangeos. Perhaps it would be more feasible if it had a smaller and more controllable floating city rather than an enormous terry yacht. A smaller city could be centered around certain goals, 
like ecotourism sites or scientific research stations. That way, its viability may be impacted by evolving customer tastes and economic volatility. Additionally, the Pangeos may face competition from other cutting-edge ideas for luxurious living, such as underwater hotels or premium island resorts. Also, as environmental issues gain more attention from the general population, it may become more difficult to defend the building and upkeep of a terra yacht, which might have a major effect on the environment. In order for Pangeos to succeed, it will need to use recent technological developments for waste management and sustainable solutions. However, if the Pangeos is developed to be a flexible floating structure whereby it can easily be assembled and reconfigured, it can be beneficial to future floating city projects because of its increased flexibility and adaptability. The Pangeos project is truly an innovative idea that challenges the limits of marine design and architecture, but achieving it would require overcoming major obstacles related to technology, finances, and the environment. Whether Pangeos sails or just stays a fascinating concept, it has spurred discussion concerning the future of luxurious living, environmentally friendly technology, and the possible development of a floating city. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for joining us. Let us know what you think of this video in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. See you soon.